Ladies and gentlemen, let, let me introduce uh, Mr. Taksim A. Khan. Uh, he's an engineer and is the managing director and CEO of Dhaka Wasa, a government owned uh, company responsible for water and sewage in the capital city of Bangladesh, where uh, there are 20 million people living. Uh, he has been leading this state owned company since 2009. Mr. Taksim A. Khan is going to present us Dhaka was a turnaround program and its investment opportunities. May I call upon stage Mr. Taksim A. Khan, Managing Director and CEO. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, Mr. Honorable uh, Chair, the Chairman of uh, Security Exchange, the Honorable uh, Advisor to the Honorable Prime Minister, and ladies and gentlemen, I will not take much time of yours. I have a small story, and uh, that is basically what the water sector in Bangladesh is doing, and what are the opportunities are there in the water sector of Bangladesh. Basically, one of the things that we sometimes do not know the Dhaka, you know, the capital of Bangladesh, and the population, you know, 20 million, 22 million. But one thing what you do not know, that Dhaka and the water utilities of Dhaka is the largest water utility in the world in public sector. So that's what you do not know. And that's why it was an enormous job for the government of Bangladesh to ensure uninterrupted water supply for the city of Dhaka and on other cities also. And that, what is the reason why we started our journey in 2009 under the leadership of the Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina when the government came into power and wanted to bring a change. And that's change what we are talking about, Dhaka Wasa turnaround program. And why I'm saying this story? That because the reason of the story saying is already been told by our honorable chairman, uh, Security Exchange, that Bangladesh is not that Bangladesh. It is a emerging country where there are a lot of opportunities and we are creating that opportunities for you people to come to Bangladesh, to invest in Bangladesh, technology transfer in Bangladesh, and this is the high time. And that's the reason why we are here. So thank you very much that you are, I have been given a time to speak, but not more than five minutes. So investment summit, of course, and Dhaka was a turnaround program. So what do you mean by Dhaka Wasa turnaround program? What is Dhaka Wasa? Dhaka Wasa is an autonomous body under the government. It's a corporate management and corporate culture and commercially operated. It has been formed in 1996 under the Wasa Act, which has been passed in the Parliament of Bangladesh. And what is Dhaka Wasa's mandate? As I told, and in 2009, under this government, we took a vision the what Dhaka Wasa will be doing and what, where we want to go. Very simply, we stated that we want to be the best water utility in the public sector of South Asia. And interestingly, we are not very far from there today. According to Asian Development Bank, we are the, one of the best water utility in the public sector of South Asia. And obviously, we can't compete with the other developed countries, but we are not very far. So what does it mean by to be the best water utility? We want it to be the environmentally friendly, sustainable, and pro-people water management in Dhaka and other cities of Bangladesh. And that's what was our journey we started in 2009. And for that, we took a holistic approach, a change, a, what do you call the reform program. And the name of the program was Dhaka Wasa Turnaround Program. And why we took this program? <coughs> we wanted to make a change. Why we wanted to make a change? Because 
we wanted that the people should get uninterrupted water, quality water, at a reasonable price, as well as we wanted that we should be environmental friendly water supply management. That means instead of underground extraction, we should go for surface water treatment, and obviously which is very expensive, as well as we should have 100% sewerage pipeline sewerage system in Dhaka city. So these are all very expensive. So we wanted to have the reform because we wanted to have stable enough to attract those investment so that we can be able to uh, extract, instead of extracting underground water, we could have, been, we could have uh, a surface treatment plant. So that is what is our reform program. And according to Asian Development Bank, we have been able to convert a dysfunctional water utility of, uh, to a South Asia's leading water utility. And how? Because we took a lot of measure and we first and foremost, in line with the announcement of the Honorable Prime Minister in 2009, that digital Bangladesh, and we started the yes, we'll make digital wasa. And today, we are not very far from becoming digital wasa totally. We are 90% almost automated. Almost everything in our billing, water management, then uh, SCADA, everything has been automated. And that's the reason why during the COVID period, we have been able to very successfully work without any hamper, without any disturbance, without any interruption. So that's what is di digital uh, WASA. For making this digital WASA, we have made everything that is e-billing, e-metering, e-recruitment, e-connection, electronic gym, uh, that is electronic tendering, electronic uh, notice is filing, electronic supply chain management, water ATM machine, SCADA. So everything we have made automated. And that has already, uh, the Honorable Chairman and Secret Exchange told that it has given us the opportunity to make it simpler, easier, and as well as more or less, it is absolutely less corruption, less any sort of irregularities. So that is what has given us opportunity. And we have a big partnership with other utilities like uh, in the Vitens Evidence of Netherlands, we have partnership with Korean K Water, we have partnership with Nepal, where we are, we are not only now what we call technology sharing, but we are now transferring technology to Nepal. Our guys are working there and transferring our technology to there. And also we are having with the Budapest Water, Metropolitan Water Works of uh, Thailand, as well as we are cooperating with UNESCO IHE Delft University. So all these things are because we wanted to have a reform, we wanted to have a change, and we wanted that our Hakka Wasa will become a sustainable water utility in South Asia, so that we'll be able to attract investment. And that's what, at this moment, we have a lot of opportunities for investment. At this moment, we have, oh, and, and that's what is the converting, that is, our whole purpose was to convert this dysfunctional water utility into a bankable water utility. So until unless you are a bankable, no other investment, and nobody will come to you to invest. And that is what was our aim and goal, to make it a bankable organization. And today, we are proudly, we can say, that we are a bankable organization. There are a lot of water utilities in African countries, those who are starving for investment, those who are starving for have development, and they do have the potential, but they're not bankable. And that's the reason why the international banks or development banks are not coming to them. But today, we have a lot of investments in Dhaka Wasa. And, uh, oh, okay, let me go. At present, we have a foreign investment is more than $3.3 billion, which has been invested in last 10 years in water sector of Dhaka. As well as we have upcoming investments are also $2.7 billion. So there are a lot of opportunities, not only that you should come to invest in Bangladesh and invest Dhaka or Chittagong Wasa for water sector, but at the same time, this is the time you can invest. Otherwise, after five years, we don't need any investment because we have enough potential investors in Bangladesh, those who are enough, put, uh, invest, it, it, enough there to invest for the development of Wasa in the water sector. That's the reason why we consider there's a right time, what has been told that emerging Bangladesh, and right time to invest. And we, from the water sector, 
are urging that please invest in Bangladesh in water sector. We are already not only investment, but we are also urging for your technology transfer. Dhaka Wasa is now highly, I mean, automated and technologically developed. So we have a more room, more space for development. And we invite you come because at this moment, if you look that all the five big, or not five big, if you say all big water uh, companies of the world are working with Dhaka Wasa. The, the, the biggest, I, I, I don't like to name those because uh, it, it doesn't make sense. So all big water companies are working with us. They're taking the opportunity. This is taking these uh, investment possibilities. So we invite you here in the United States of America so that you can come and invest in Bangladesh. We do have a partnership with Asian Development Bank, World Bank, Danida, KFW German, UNICEF, EDCF Korea, uh, European Investment Bank, Luxembourg, China Exit Bank, then uh, French Development Authority, and recently uh, made AIIB, Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. All these banks are now investing in Dhaka Wasa. They are also private sector investment. We want PPP. So private sector investments are also welcome to Dhaka Wasa. And this is the time that you can come and join and you can have. If you see this, the why we are asking you to come, because of the fact that the changes that we made is enormous. The non-revenue water, that is system loss, what we call, what we had in South Asia, every city of South Asia is more than 40% or 30%. And we have been able to reduce it to 20% and later by introducing district metered area, that means changing pipeline and changing the distribution network system, make it automated, we have reduced it to 5%. 5%, if you look in Los Angeles or in Glendale Water or in Burbank Water, they are not 5%, they are all 10 digit, I'm sorry, 2 digit, that is 10%. So we have been able to reduce our non revenue water to 5%, except few of the, like Tokyo. None of the cities in Asia, those who have 5% non-revenue water, and we have been able to reduce it to non-revenue water 5%. We have been able to uh, make our revenue earning 100%. There was a time when only 64% revenue were being, in, were being recovered, but now 100% revenue we are recovering. We have an operating ratio, which was 0 0.95, and international best practice says it should be 0 0.65, and we have reduced it to 0 0.64. So we are now having international best practice in all the sex, all, in, in most of the section of water utility management. Then debt or receivable, we had 14 months, and international best practice is three months, and we have reduced it to 4.4 months. And as, as I told, the once upon a time in 2009, before this government has come to the power, we had only $40 million, $40 million investment, and today we have $3.3 billion investment. And all this happened because we've been able to make a change in Hakawasa. That is what is Hakawasa turnaround program. And this turnaround program has given the opportunity for, a, for the investors to come and invest and to bring the technology to Dhaka, to Bangladesh, to Chittagong and other wasas. So please come and join hand-to-hand -to, -hand to develop the water sector of Bangladesh, water sector of Dhaka. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, thank you, sir, for your nice presentation and the way you exhibited the uh, management of WASA in Bangladesh. Uh, 